like. I'd like a bit more understanding from both of us. It's, sound, that sounds very good, and I agree. But what about the... What are in we, the moment. What are we going to do different in the moment when you're mad and you go, fuck it. In the moment. Decide all bets are off. In the moment. Look what I did in Australia. Look what I accomplished. I put the fucker away. I told myself every fucking day, no, he's gone. No, he's not fucking put him away. I put him away. And by a list of the things that I feel that fuck you over or make you feel shitty or anything like that, I fucking, when we're in the moment, I remember it. I remember what I put on my list. I remember it. And I try to, 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 to bring it down notches, many notches. I'll tr try. If we're if we're heightened, to say, please, I don't want you to feel this. I don't want, I don't want to feel this. Let's, let's. I know. I need to know what we need to do different. I need to know. It's got to be done with your mind and your heart. What do we do different? If well, I have a problem, you tell need me. to tell me how to tell you tell different. Me. If I'm hurting you. You need to let me be able to be mad. Sometimes you're going to make me mad. I'm a human. I cannot live where it's like... Well, then, it's the same thing goes for me, then. You're going to have to allow me to get mad. Yes. Exactly. If okay, I but I get mad, and then you start fucking yelling. I, 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 I don't have to start yelling. I think I start yelling once it gets fucking heightened. I've gotten a lot better about that. It's just only... No, I only start no. yelling when it's fucking hour 11, and we're really in it. Yeah, yeah. You haven't gotten better about that. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had three physical fights in the last month and a half, two I'm months. I'm sorry about the yelling. No, but... <laughs> we... We... You witnessed it. You're the one that brought it up. Australia was fucking great. We just argued. Let's go back there. Let's go back there in our fucking heads and in our hearts. Let's go back there. And no, on your Is list. Is the monster gone? Did you put him away? It's been so... <clears throat> when you get on that train, you get angry, you stay on it for so long, and you won't come down, you won't talk to the person that's that not, is you. That's not always... That's not always... It doesn't big. have to always be the monster. But what is it? Can you put that away? Can you remember the bigger picture? You don't want to spend your life. I've asked you this so many times in fights. You want to spend your time like this. No, you don't, but I ask you because this is something you're choosing. I'm saying to you, olive branch. And you don't take my olive branches. You made me feel humiliated for offering them. You asked me to stay in Australia. I stayed, and then you walk out on me all the time. You've got to take some olive branches from me. You've got to offer them, too. You've got to be bigger than what you feel at that moment. And so do I. So do I. But if I call you on it, will you hear it? Yeah. You call me out on it if I'm doing it. Oh, yes, I will. Yes, I will. And I'll do it in a fucking... as, as peaceful a fucking... in as calm a manner as I, as I possibly can. I don't want to instigate any fights. I do not want to fight anymore. Say we're having an argument and you get mad. An argument's How an argument. Can, yes, but say we're having an argument and you get mad. It asked me, how do you talk to the you that's in front of me right now? What do I need to say? What do I need to do? We don't want to spend our life mad like that. Doesn't mean you have to like what I'm saying or doing or vice versa. But can you just calm say, down? baby, please, please, please don't get the mom to the monster. Please don't, let's not yell. Please don't, you know what I mean? And I'll do the same. Promise. I have done the same. What? You promise. Yeah, I mean, what, yes. Why would I, I say I it if I didn't? Because sometimes you don't keep your what you say, and I want things, this to be different. So now my words are worse. 
no, 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 that's not the case. It's just that sometimes when you get mad, it's like you disconnect from the person that you are right now. And I'm wondering just how to, like, what's the communication, what's the phone number, you know, for that. And, and you, how do I, how do I calm you down when you go into a flurry? And maybe say... Remind me, remember what we talked about, calm down, you know, baby, please calm down. Please look at the bigger picture. Something, I will remind me of this conversation, you know, when I'm upset and I'm feeling like it's pointless, you know. Don't ever lie. I, I don't ever lie. I know you and I see, remember, see things differently sometimes, but I'm not lying. I... You know, for someone who, I know that's your deepest fear and that's why it comes up in fights and stuff, but you got a trust issue in general in life. Oh, yeah. I, I never fucked you over, and I'm not going to, and anybody who knows me, if they had to list two or three things about me, adjectives about me, one of those three would be super honest straightforward, honest. Everyone else in my life, I know you have trust issues, but you can't let it cloud you know with me. Please. It comes up a lot. I know you have an issue with it. It's not me. You can trust me. If anything... Say that to me. Say that to me at the time. What? Say what? Then? What you just said. Say that stuff to me at the time. If I'm starting to fucking flip, you know, you're off to a movie or I'm off to a movie or whatever. I feel like I do, but I guess I should say it differently. I'll find another way. I'll pay attention to how I say it. It depends, yeah. Let's both pay attention to how we, how we talk to each other. Um, to respect each other. I, you know, we're not going to do that all the time. Sometimes we're going to be shitty or whatever. Of course not. Uh, we make a promise to each other about the rings and the divorce. No rings, no divorce. We promise each other. Um. Please, I, I want so bad to feel like the marriage I... I promise you. ...worked so hard to make happen. It's like meaningful. Don't, don't talk about the making the wedding happen. Talk about the four years we spent together, please. Yes, but I want to make, I have those four years no matter what, but I fought for that wedding, and we had that wedding, a beautiful wedding, for what, if we don't, I want to, like, it means something, that there's some. Yeah, it did mean something, and it does mean something, and I didn't get married to you to fucking, just fucking, you know. 17 more fights and it's fucking over with. We got married. I knew the fucking fights weren't going to stop, but I thought maybe it would it would curb them a little. I want the security back. I freak out. I freak out. And cannot make normal decisions, calm decisions, or ones from the heart where I'm thinking of you more than me when I feel like you're splitting on me all the time, when the marriage is on the rock. I make the same mistake about throwing our marriage around. I won't do it again. I'm not going to do it again. Okay? Please. I'm not. I promise. But... But there's so, there's some, something so anxiety provoking and scary and malicious and really just turns everything over when you split all the time. Please, if you really don't want to fight and you're not just trying to hurt me, which sometimes it is that, if you really, really if you really love me and you don't and you do care about this, please find a good way to do it when that's respectful. Mm. You can tell me that you are. You can 
I need to know that we will be able to talk about it because the problem I have is when we don't communicate, it comes into me, builds up in me, and becomes can cancer in me. It got worse every day when we were back from Toronto. It got worse every single day. Not better, worse. Until we spoke about it. Until Whitney's birthday, and we talked about it. Then it was okay, but I need... That's... I don't want to resent you. I don't want to resent you. I don't want to... I don't want to... Not trust... Are you kidding? Yeah. You know how many times... You know how many times I've chased you out of the elevator in the hall? I gotta stop doing that. I'm not okay. nitpicking. I don't mean to be focusing on something, but if it's a major thing to me, and it is a major... If things get thing. physical, we have to separate. No, we no. have to be apart from one another, whether it's for fucking an hour or... 10 hours or fucking a day. We must. There can be no physical violence I towards each other. I agree about the physical violence, but separating for a day or I'm, night I'm, and taking a night off from our marriage. No, no, no. It just means it opens up. It Listen, I'm just giving examples. It, I, it could be fucking three minutes. It could be fucking two weeks. It, I'm just no, saying. We need to agree on certain boundaries so we have boundaries again. We need to make agreements and hold each other accountable to them and ourselves accountable to them, which is why I'm even bringing this up. I'm not... You know what I mean? I'm not saying anything negative. I know. All I'm saying is we need to take whatever time we need, you need or I need, to kind of let things settle for a minute so that we don't f fucking kill each other or fucking worse you know fucking like really kill each other or, or fucking break up or whatever just don't I think that help me I... and I'll help you I, this is the thing that makes me feel unsafe and unstable, and to be honest, this is what makes me not trust. What's that? It's the, that there's like... Walking away, going to her corner. No, loophole. It's like, oh, go and take the time you need, take the time I need. Okay, fine, every time I get mad at you, I can go split. Except for, oh wait, I don't have my own place to go split to. No, Amber, stop. You know, it makes me think I should. It makes me, you know, I, I don't have a place I can go. I don't have a, I'd have to go to a hotel, you know? And I don't have the funds to do that. I mean, it's... That's not what I'm talking about. I'm look, saying... I think we should control ourselves and not get physical. And if it gets physical, and we've dropped that um, wall, then... We're gonna drop the other one, so it's gonna be like, you're gonna fucking split, or I'm gonna fucking split, and... You may, this isn't you, gonna come back. You may be right, but you, you can't predict the future once again. Here's what I'm saying. If the fight escalates to the point of where it's just... insulting for both of us, uh, or if it gets to that physical fucking shit, the violence, that's when we just say, look, let's go to our corners, man. You, you, you hang wherever you want, baby. I'm going in the office and I'm just going to fucking sit there and try and de-jellify my fucking brain. I, I'm not talking about me running out of the fucking house. I'm not talking about me you know, splitting because I'm fucking counting a coward or whatever. I'm talking about go to our corners. I'll go to my little office. I'll, you go, you can have the house. You, you just take the house and wander wherever you want. I won't fucking come bother you. You know, and if you, if you, if at a point you, you're feeling like better after 10 minutes, come knock on the door. I always and, do that. And, and Please let me finish. Sorry. And if in 10 minutes I'm feeling like, all right, I got the solution for this, or I know 
how to, we can, you know, please, I'll come knock on your fucking door. Or I'll come find you. Will you try? What? Will you try to not make it? I just told an you. An all night thing. I wasn't done. Oh. Was, will you try and not make it a lifestyle? I mean, will you try and remind yourself that they can just be fight and try and. Uh, absolutely. Respect we, that it doesn't have to be an all night. Thing. Absolutely. I don't want to go to bed mad. And we were I doing really good with each other. We I didn't don't, for a long time. I don't want. I know. But we weren't insulting one another to the point of like, uh, wow, you know, like the way I insulted you in Toronto or the way you insulted me on the, on the plane or where, you know, whatever. Let's not get to that point. That's nothing. That's that's bullshit. That's 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 kindergarten shit. We don't fucking need to do that. What we could do is just try to be fucking calm and say, "Look, this is really this is getting somewhere I don't like. Please, let's take an hour max. Go. I'll go in and fucking write." And and, 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 and and try and figure it out, get it out, whatever. I'm just okay. just making suggestions yeah. for, for to try and fucking save us, you know. Just gonna, we gotta honor our promises. I, I cannot, nor can you. You don't deserve to be in a relationship. No that is walked away from all the time. I, I, I can't. I would never want you to do that. I never want you to be in that. You deserve better. So do I. You indeed. cannot be constantly, constantly, anytime I'm upset or mad or hurt, or anything, I fuck up. God, if I yell, if I fuck up, ever. Ditched. That's not marriage. You know, most people don't have the two, three houses they can go to. It's always, I mean, your house. And you always split it. Listen, you can't, you can't be saying that I, that, if that's what you feel, you, you feel that from you. Because you didn't get that from me. I never fucking said, this is my house and my house only. Kind of. But, I, mean, no. I know yesterday I... No, that's our fucking house. So always, fucking, always remind me that I'm I got I got Rocky and Josh living there. I got Whitney living there. Don't so don't but you say it in fights, you use it in fights, and I'm sorry, but I feel like oh forget it. I I, I just I, just I mean want, don't think that, that you I just you know want the security and the commitment for me that we have destroyed both of us. And I don't know if that matters to you. But personally, like if you need that, it absolutely so. matters to me. But I do, and I can't promise you that I'll be perfect. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. God, I fucking sometimes get so mad I lose it. I can fucking promise you I'm you know do everything to change. I promise you, I'm not gonna throw around divorce. I will not say divorce unless I really need it. Unless it's it, and then I hope you leave me. I'm not going to, and me too, I will leave you. It's fair, I can't do it, you know? And I think, honestly, if we hold each other accountable to that, it's fair. That's what I said earlier. Look, if we get to that that point where it's like, this is- It's a line we don't cross. We fucking much, let, let's, you know, we fucking, Man, shake hands and walk away, you know. But and you don't do it until you need it. That's my point. Trust me, if, if, if I'm not going to do it unless I mean it. I'm, Promise. If I say it, I will be leaving. Or if you say it, I'll get the fuck out or whatever, you know. Promise. Yeah, I'll That promise. ring does not come off. Unless I say the word or unless you say the word. Well, 
or you just take the ring off because that's the same thing. That'll be the same thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, I don't want to, I don't think a marriage should be something you used at all. In fact, if you want a fucking divorce, you're going to tell me not to fight. Let's be honest. You know, that's a decision, a lifelong decision that even you and me as hotheads know you can't make forever decisions when you're, when you're mad like that. It certainly feels like you can, but you and I both, even though we're hotheads, we do know the difference. However, I don't think it's something we should ever say to each other in a fight, ever. And if you promise me, and I promise you, I mean, we need, we need that, we need to hold each other accountable again. I want to feel safe. I have nothing to cling on to. I, you didn't even come home last night. I feel like I have nothing to cling on to. There's a semblance of marriage or commitment or stability. I mean, if I can just get up and walk away and spend the night somewhere else. Yeah, obviously you can. Yeah, but believe, you, believe it's done if I do that. That's, that's, it's not marriage. You, you talked about it. You, you know why I love it. I do know why you left. If you I'm saying now that I won't do the same thing. I mean, I, I mean that, I, that I will not do that. I will not fucking leave until Probably. until some rational decision is made. Okay. If it's the end, it's the end. If it's the fucking, if we can keep going. We'll keep going. But yeah, I promise. I promise you. I promise you. I hope you can trust me. transient is whatever fight we're fighting for. I don't want any loopholes, any, oh, it's okay to leave, it's acceptable to do this, or it's acceptable to say this, about like splitting or breaking up or leaving. I, that's our, we should, we should, we should fall asleep together every night. Ideally, never mad. Ideally, never mad. I'd love to say, of course, you could promise that, but I don't. I don't know if it's possible. I'd love to strive for it. Yeah, you weren't ready for that last night, for sure. No, I fucked up last night. I'm really sorry. So, so let's understand that we're both guilty of the same shit at times. But no one's saying it more than me, though. I so am let's, saying that. So it's, let's, let's, let's. It's just chronically overweight, with, and I need that to be something you realize and that you know. It's affecting not just me, it's affecting our marriage. It's affecting how I trust, how I resent you, how I like you without the fight being happening. No, I know. But when I'm not trying to rub your nose in that. I'm just, I feel sometimes like you omit something, you acknowledge it, it'll be beautiful, and then you'll go back on it kind of in your, vo like in the vocabulary after, and then I feel like, wait a second, is he taking it back? You know what I mean? I do know what you mean, but like I said before, there's, there's not, I, I don't, I don't have the, I haven't cornered the market on that, you know, when you start the fucking yelling, there's, you know, it, 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 it fucking gets crazy, you know, it gets fucking, it gets fucking crazy, you know, and th that, that makes me not feel uh, for lack of a better word, safe within the relationship, you know, 
uh, understanding of, oh well, it's just nothing, because it, if it keeps going, if it's if it's always sort of there, then uh, you know I worry. Yeah, I fucking worry about the marriage. I worry how much longer can I deal with this? How much longer can she deal with this? Fuck, man. So I've had the same trust issues. I've had the same. Uh, uh, disappointments. I've had the same, you know, maybe maybe not to the degree you have. I, I, I I'm assuming so. But yeah, I, I man, when you start when you start fucking honking, you know what I mean? It's it's, no, it's, it's call pretty. Me. Call it's it pretty, out. Call pretty, me out on it and help me. I will. I will help try. Help me because I might not even realize I'm doing it. You've got to. Help. Me. I but will we try. Can't, it can't be an excuse to leave. I will try to help you. If I try to help you and I can help you, fuck what I leave. If I try to help you and I can't help you, I say, baby, I'm taking an hour. I'm in my fucking office. It's, yes. yes. If you want to talk, if you want to come get me. Otherwise, I'll come check on you in an hour. That, that would be really helpful. All right? And I, I promise you I'll leave you alone for that hour. I promise you I'm not going to freak out. I just, want, I just want you to have your time to be able to calm down or my time to be able to calm down. But it really helps if you, if you give it time. If it's not just... Say now. Even if you just say it will, you know... In, like, I promise if we resume this, I just need to know that we will talk about it. Otherwise, I'm dealing with cancer. I'm dealing with something that just festers and it gets worse and worse. So you have to realize that, it, you know, in that kind of situation, a few minutes <coughs> is fine, but then after a certain point, it becomes way worse and I become way harder to reason, to rationalize with. I become. It, it's that Kipper can tell you, he says he's the same way. I just, that's how you work. And you work a very different way when you meet in the middle, you know? I, 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 yeah. I, I do understand that. I mean, I, I do. I, would, I do understand all that. But I. I also want you to understand that. The, you know, there were great moments of high hopes that it was just all cool. And then, you know, whatever happens, this happens, that happens, we fucking, we have a spat or a fight or a fucking blowout. I, I just want you to know that the way you're feeling about being unsure of, of us, of the marriage, of this, of the, if you, whether, I can, whether you can trust me to be this or whether you can, you know, whether I can do the same, it's I feel very much the same. At least you have the added luxury that you take for granted. No offense, you do. What I take for granted? That you have the added luxury of knowing that I'm there and that I mean it forever, and that I because I show up, I come, I'm knocking, I'm the one who asks look, to look, calm look. down, I'm the one that comes and gets you on the plane, I'm the one that comes and knocks at the bathroom door, I'm the one that comes into the to the house that you've run away to. I'm the one that comes to you and says, this isn't worth it, let's fight for this marriage, or whatever. I, you have an added luxury that you just are taking for granted in such a big way. And you don't know how much that means. If I ran from you the way I used to before the marriage, we would not be together. When I used to run away, when you would, whatever, when I felt like it was justified, how many times we almost break up? How terrible was that? How terrible was it for you? We would not be together if I did that. And you take for granted that I show up and that I fight for us. And that I am the one to come over. I'm the one that comes out into the hall. I am the one. I have a hot head just like you. But I... What a luxury you have. If you take that for granted, you're so... What a luxury. I'd do anything to have that feeling.
at least in the back of my mind, I know that you showed up, that you fought for me, that you cared enough to... Here's what you... you're missing in that little, you know, paragraph. What you're missing is, you're the one who comes and gets me. You're the one who comes and says you're sorry. That You're the one that comes and tries to calm me down. You're the one that's... But why am I... Why am I riled up? We're okay. both riled up. No, it's not like every time I've done something to you in a vacuum, baby. That's what you don't get. I don't doubt you're riled up. But I'm riled up too. And I said this to you on the couch. I've said this to you before. We both have our... It's subjective. You have your reasons. I have my reasons. For every action, there is something that caused it. And I have the same thing. But I'm that, mad in the but same But what caused way. it? What caused it could be so irrational and so far-fetched and so minute, minute. That's what I say to you every time that you want to have a big fight. Every time I go, this could be something small. Why wasn't this just an argument, baby? Why wasn't this just an argument? Yes, so you're right. Sometimes it could be very small. Sometimes it's not. Either way, it doesn't negate what I'm saying to you. Uh, what a what a gift! Like I would do anything to trade places with you. You talk about insecurity. I don't know how you can say I'm taking it for granted. That's a fucking insult. Man. You talk about trust and like you feel the same way. You don't feel this. You couldn't because the difference is you at least have the knowledge in the back of your head that you can fall back on. That I showed up. That I fought for you. That I checked on you. That I came to get you. That I said I love you. That I saved the marriage. If it were up to you and I treated you the way you treated me, we would not be together. Let's face it. It's because. Because I fucking fight for this, it's because I come over, and last time I didn't, which is what I should always do, and I am learning my fucking lesson, it's just, when you walk, fucking let you walk, and I, that time, I can't tell you how done I was, it was like this time in Toronto, I was looking for apartments, I was preparing to tell my pa my folks, my parents, I was done. And you called me and you were like, well, I'm about to go out of town or whatever. And ended up like that, whatever. I, I told you I wasn't ready to see you. Because it had gotten so much worse. That I was basically calling. I, I was like, I need to, I just need to change my life. And my life is different. I am no longer with this person. And I'm now single. I need to, um, you know, get my shit together, find an apartment, do all this stuff. It got so much worse, and honestly, if that happens one more time, we will break up. I know it. I know we won't survive it. That was so severe. The what damage was so severe. When you spent a week here, you said, I'm going to go away for a day. You wrote me a note and left it on the kitchen counter, and you said, I just need to clear my head for a night, maybe two. I oh, didn't hear I from you Bruce. for six. No. This is here. You came here. I stayed downtown. This is, you were gone for six, seven days. And then I didn't even let you spend the night in the house. Remember, you came over, we talked. I wasn't even ready. No one, I, I, you know how long it took me to take down those walls that I built up? It took forever to build those. I was so, it took me so long to trust you, even a little bit again. I was so, I resented you so much. The damage was very deep. And I know that if I let that happen again, I don't, I, I, in my heart, I know we wouldn't survive it. So, you walk out, and I have one option. That's why I come to you. If I let it go, like I did last time, which is what I should do, because if you're willing to walk out, you should be walking out. But I let it go, and it was a fucking week. And it took... I'm, and I'll never b get some of that back. I'll never have that trust quite the same way. You left me a note saying I'm going to be gone for a night. I, I, we didn't speak for a week. I didn't even hear from you. You didn't check on me. Nothing. So you thought we were broke up? Oh, yeah. I was preparing to be to have that conversation with you and be done. Oh, so you just said you were single. No, I was, said I was preparing myself to think that way. You know, take care of my own life. Get my own, you know, apartment. That's that. So well, I hope it doesn't get to that. No. Of course, but I'm just saying, when I didn't fight for it, when I let it go, it's devastating. Devastating in my heart.
and so on the trust of they can't do it again. You probably will never do it again. At least you have in the back of your mind that I come and I show up. I fight. I come. I don't have that. I don't take that for granted, by the way. I don't always know that you'll come. I don't always know that you'll be knocking. I don't always know that you want to talk. I go, I go, because I think, fuck, well, we're screwed. Can't live like this. Stop you from doing that again. Thinking that again. Well, like I said, like you said, you walk out the door, you walk out the door. That is the same as rings off. It's the same thing as mentioning doors. There's no talking unless we just want to try to be civil with one another. That's fucking people who were married. And I hate to talk like, I hate even saying that kind of shit, but yeah, if I walk out again, I'm walking out and I'll know that and you'll know that. If you do that, same deal. Trust, respect, whatever you feel you've lost for me. I hope you can't. And I hope you can make the changes that Fuck with me. And if we want to do it, we'll do it. Ultimately, we don't want to do it. We know the result. We're definitely at the end of any of that shit. All the anger at each other. We're definitely at the end of that kind of shit. There's no more. No. Can we let it go? Can we let it go of some of these fights? Yeah, I can let the fights go. I just want to hold on to the everything and we're just sorry about the same. Mm -hmm. you know, but it, my mom said, um, either of us are forgiving I, each other. Well, I don't think it's going to, I don't think we can forgive each other this quickly. I think. I'm not saying that. With time, it, it, it'll, 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 you know, lessen. But everything that I said, you, you, you know, is not, <coughs> you're not going to be able to unhear it. And the same with me. I won't be able to unhear it. And they are horribly thought provoking. But I just gotta write it off, you know, and, and get past it. 
If I didn't want to be with you, I wouldn't be with you. If you didn't want to be with me, you wouldn't be with me. And that's really what it boils down to. So if we want to be together, let's do our best to fix what's broken within the machine. Within our mach the machine that is us. Sleep. Fucking one being in a half finally. And you know, woke up like three hours fucking later, you know, feeling like, you know, why? You know, fucking why? Hope this is important enough for you to fight. It is important enough for me to fight for it. Mm -hmm. well, why do you say that? Then I can't do it alone. I woke up the first thing and called you. I called you last night. I just this is foolish, you know. And I understand part of it, but I also see like. you know I love you. You know I love you more. Than me. You should know that. You do know that. Like what? Like what? You that love I love you more than me. That I love you. More than yourself? Yeah. You don't debase yourself and embarrass yourself like that for, some, for you. Because you're worried about protecting yourself. I don't think you debased yourself in any way. I think it's very brave. I think it's very. Your feet are swollen. I don't know what. Your ankles are swollen. You took your morning nap. I didn't swell. What? As well. Not swelling? No. Mm. Mm, it's fucking. Oh, it must just be the other side. It's like a muscle or whatever. Reciprocal. Yes, I agree. And what you did by calling me last night, you fell asleep on the phone. You did realize that. 
Yeah. I'm sorry. I had to ambient myself. Again. It's all right. I was... I was... I was so sweet good night to you. Oh, you were sweet. Could you tell I was sleeping? I thought you were sleeping once before. I think you might have fallen asleep once before. And then woke up and continued talking. And then... I was saying something, talking, and then all of a sudden there was just no more. Yes, gone. I really don't want to sleep without you again. We can't. I don't want There's a, there's don't a want better to way. Let's, let's find it. Don't slow me. Don't, I'm sorry I did. It's okay, just... But you know, sometimes that fucking thing happens. You do it too sometimes, where you just... I know. I but it can't be like out. the end of... Our marriage is bigger than that, obviously. We don't need to ever get to that point. I, I agree. I agree, but... I hope we don't. I hope we don't. I love you, I want you to be my wife. And I want to be a husband. I want to be a good husband. And if I haven't been, you know, I'll do everything I can to find out how to be a good husband. You're a great husband. You really are. It's It's just hard if anything comes up, if someone bumps your shoulder in a crowded sidewalk. You know, we're wearing white again, not black, so it makes a difference. It's a big deal if there's a bump. And it's hard. I love you, and I'm, I know we've been so, we can be so good. Amazing. Then I'm here. Trying to move forward, forgive each other. Listen, we have to I know we had our other. fights today to, to try to settle whatever the fuck. All this scrambled, crazy shit that one thing reminds you of another, and you find yourself going back into some other fight. And it, it, it's all scrambled, it's all fucking jumbled, it's like white noise all moving around, a little thing. I'm glad that I'm glad that we got to a point where we were shitty with each other. I'm glad we got to a point where we didn't fucking know how this was going to end. But I'm telling you, I coming here today is, is, is fucking courageous and it's fucking admirable for you to come here and talk to me and try and work things out and to tell me these problems Things that I do to fuck with you. I want to change you. I want you to change you. I want us to change you together. Thank you, Thank you for sitting through and actually having a conversation with me. I did not expect that, but I'm really proud of you for not, not running away, walking away, or what, I'm proud of you for that. Thank you. It means that we can actually hash out these things. Yeah. Something's got to be said, and maybe left. Huh? And maybe left. I know you left behind.
You yeah. will never forget a lot of things, but you can forgive. You really do need to. We need to let a. We really need to. My mom's right. There is absolutely. It's just adding weight that we're just carrying around those stones. And mom is right. I know she is. She is right. She's right on the fucking mind. She's on it. Make it if we want to. We can get through this shit if we want to. And if you're unsure right now, then then I know I'm not. I love you. I love you. Um, I just needed the. I need this. I needed the security. Thing. I needed to have something to hold on to, or tell else I'm. Why? Tell me, shit. Tell me, just tell me. Before it becomes something you've held inside for so long that it yeah. wants to just explode. Just tell me, and I'll tell you the same. And then, once we, once we can fucking get the shit out without it being some huge drama, or, or even if it is a huge drama, once we can get the shit out, recognize it, and like you said, fucking it's gone. Chuck it. Doesn't work. That method does not work. Bam, it's gone. Next. I can die if I start. And it kills me that the, the possibility that you would think that I take so much for granted or that I, that I, uh, I'm untrustworthy or, or a bad husband or I didn't say you were untrustworthy. No, I'm just saying it's it's and just I said what I needed to say I'm not gonna You know I won't I know baby. I'm not I'm not asking you to elaborate on anything I'm saying. All I'm saying is I I would fucking die if if, if I knew that was how you thought of me. And Now I know what, what I know. And I'll fucking do my best to get it together so that I don't fuck with you and you don't fuck with me. And we're fucking. We're a couple again and we're friends again. So I'm fine with you. Love. Is it? I promise, won't. Well, Explode if we just do the things a little different in the fight, you know, like don't walk away from me Do it in a different way, and I promise I won't resort to the same shit. I promise Okay Thank you. Maybe, maybe when that When that fucking hocus pocus happens and we get all fucking edgy with each other instead of standing squaring off like a couple of fighters. Mm -hmm. Maybe let's try to sit down. Seriously, you know, like, sit down. Even if we say, hey, listen, we're fighting like bastards, let's sit down and have a glass of wine mm -hmm. and talk through this. I know you got it in you. I know you got it in me. And I know that I have it in me. It's just a question of I really realizing and admitting what, what, what you know. 
and I, and I, I, I realize and I admit. What you got? I was just pausing it. I realized I was about to run out of battery. And still rolling. This thing. Oh, okay. For Jack and Oh, um, he's doing a Halloween thing. He's doing a Halloween thing? Yeah, he's going to like a Halloween, a Halloween thing, and he said he wanted to try and stop by, um, before, um, he sent me a, or after before. He sent me a thing this morning at 1045, said, Hey Dad, sorry I missed you, I was out of place. Where murderers chase you with weapons and stuff. How was it 10 this morning? 1045. He said, You want to meet up today? At 1057, I hit him and said, Yes, sir, I'm at 80. I'm ready anytime you say. And he says, Yay, yeah, just woke up, so I gotta wait till like a half or a half or is that one or two? Well, it's probably half. I said, whenever you want, Bob, I'll be here whenever you are. He said, thanks, Dad. See you soon. Can't wait. I like to. He said he was going to a Halloween place. It was really scary. And then I said, do you um, do you want to you... go to see if you want to come over? And... You sure that wasn't last night? No, I mean, I'm going to show you right now. It was like... Fucker. See? That's it. Today at 1. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Maybe he was afraid to tell me or something. Do you want to, um, do you want to go home? You going back down? I thought you had shit you had to do. What? I thought you had shit you had to do. Mm -hmm. No? No. You asked me that earlier, too. Well, because last night you said... I'm blowing off the, you know, I pulled off the edge, you know, the car, and, uh -oh. and pulled, you know, Lizzie, I'd see her at some point, I'm, I'm not, you know, Rocky has had, has her friends over at the pool. Oh, that's right, she, yeah, she you said. You know, I mean, that kind of thing, and I'm not, mm. I have to clean out my closet. Well, let me, um. I'm not going to do any of it, I just want to have some dinner and a glass of wine, and if you want to join me. I want to do that right now, let's go. down to those last two words, or three words. 